Our story takes place in an area located some 200 miles from Shepherdville, the capital of Caribou Land, in a mountain range known as the Wedge Hills, in the heart of the George Plateau. These elevated flatlands extend from the head of the George River to the Alluviac Fjord on the shores of Angava Bay. The stunted tundra forest grows on the plateau, and the soaring boreal forest carpets the valleys. Every spring, the plateau becomes the calving grounds for most of the cows from the huge George River caribou herd. And every fall, hunters come in search of its trophy caribou. Coming right out of the trees right now. Get ready. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a good kill shot. Kill shot. Let's go. Let's go. On the Wedge Hills, the sound of a gunshot echoing across the tundra seems to signal good times ahead for this party of hunters. Back from both sides. Touch his eye with your gun. In case he's not dead. Make sure he's down with his ass. To be a double shovel. Yeah. Yeah. When an adventurer answers the call of the north, he comes to hunt, or maybe for the fishing, maybe even a combination of both in the same trip. Observing the lay of the land is a must when caribou hunting. A hunter will probably spend a lot of time staring through his binoculars before the caribou make their presence known. As soon as he spots one of the great beasts, he'll watch it through his binoculars until it approaches within firing range. By streams and on riverbanks, the woods are denser than in the hills. It isn't always easy to make a path through a thick grove of trees, like these alders growing tightly together, to reach the spot where the big beast dropped. Retrieving a fallen animal is always cause for a hearty round of handshakes and congratulations to the hunter for his fine marksmanship and for the trophy rack he's just claimed. Hey, nice whack whack, caribou. Nice lens. Hey, it's a good one. For thousands of years, the Wedge Hills have been a unique vantage point that has witnessed not only the birth of caribou calves in spring, but the onset of the rutting season in the fall. Arriving from scattered locations, cows and bulls converge on the area. In small packs of a few animals or large groups of several dozen, they follow each other in a steady stream of wild beasts. The great annual gathering of the caribou begins again. The hunters head for cover to lie in wait for the caribou, but sometimes what first appears to be the best place soon proves to have some serious drawbacks. Hey boys. This time, it would hey seem they picked the perfect spot as another big game hunter gets himself a caribou. Wow, boys. Meanwhile, a big buck with a magnificent rack is swimming towards shore. The hunters reach the bank just as the buck is stepping out of the water. A rush of adrenaline fills the hunter his coveted trophy standing right in front of him. The hunters have to act fast. They're out in the open. A few more steps and the animal will disappear into the thick woods. Wait a sec. Nice, nice shot, Ray. Oh, Ray, what a shot, buddy. I heard, I heard him the first shot. I, what I a shot, my friend. Oh, that's what we came for. Big caribou. Yeah, it's really something, guys. Really nice. <laughs> the sound of a gunshot has brought the other hunters from the group to the scene. Well, as you saw, folks, we came for a, a nice hunt, and uh, Raymond got himself a nice caribou. Yeah, it's very nice. This is a nice rack to put on the wall at your son's yeah, house. We will. There. Yeah. My son's looking for one, so I guess I'll bring it down that's to it, him. That's it. That's it. And he put it on the garage door. Oh, my. Yeah, that's for sure. It's my. always great to have your picture taken, so future generations can see you posing with an incredible animal and its beautiful antlers. This hunting trip has been full of exciting times, some of which these guys can remember forever through the magic of film. A caribou rack is highly prized mainly because of the spread of its beams. Not just the length, it's the incredible shape of the beams and how they branch out that make them so valuable to hunters the world over. Nice caribou. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. At this time of the year, the days are getting shorter, but they're just as exhausting. Back at camp, the hunters congratulate each other on their success. They were all rewarded with a magnificent caribou. In the minds of many hunters, the phenomenon of the George River caribou and the trophy racks of the herd's bucks 
rank them among the greatest superstars in today's world of big game hunting. No two days are ever alike. The old saying fits northern Quebec like a glove. The ground is frozen solid, covered in a blanket of crisp white snow. Will this affect the caribou? They are no strangers to snow, but will it make them more restless? It's still too early to tell. A few inches of snow on the ground have not stopped their constant migration. Through binoculars, the hunters observe a scattering of caribou, among them some hefty bucks with fine looking racks. Fortunately, the wind is blowing away from the hunters. A few of the great beasts are heading their way. They seem to be coming from all directions. Several nice sized specimens are swimming across a body of water nearby. Others approach through the taiga. The hunter's excitement grows. He's got so many targets to choose from. The little herd gets nearer and nearer, oblivious to the presence of man, when suddenly... The shot seems to have gone astray. Nevertheless, the guide does the right thing and carefully combs the path the caribou just came by on, checking for signs of an injured animal, a trail of blood, a tuft of fur, or any other indication that an animal may have been hit. Nothing must be left to chance. He'll keep checking until he's 100% sure the bullet missed its target. The guide continues his search. The caribou continue on on their migration. Joined by several bucks arriving from various directions, some from the waters, others from the taiga, more from the neighboring hills. The guide signals the hunters that some caribou are close by. They quickly position their rifles as a small pack of caribou climbs out of the water and onto the bank. It's just a matter of picking the target, waiting for it to come into range, and presto! It's recommended to wait a few minutes before moving in on game that's just been shot. After a reasonable waiting period, the guide finds the trophy and is quick to congratulate the happy hunter. It's still snowing, and now it's turned to wet snow. The hunters couldn't care less about the snow. They're too excited by the sight of such a beautiful trophy. The removal permit is quickly attached to one of the animal's beams in accordance to the law regulating the conservation and development of fauna in Quebec. Time for some pictures. The hunter with his trophy, the hunter with the guide, the hunter with the other guys in the hunting party. It's a tradition among hunters. The George River herd is estimated to be one of the largest in the world, having peaked a decade ago at an unprecedented headcount. Their numbers appeared to be dwindling. But this decrease didn't last very long, and today, the herd's population is clearly on the rise again. The truth is, only a few people were aware of the phenomenon of the decreasing headcount of the George River herd. That's because the neighboring herd, the Leaf River herd, had experienced a population explosion, which meant that the magic number, when both herds were combined, still remained at a million or so animals. It's an impressive sight, a million great deer making their way across the most northerly regions of Quebec. Hey, hey, good shot. Yeah. Hey, excellent. Hey. Excellent. Hey. Let's see. Oh, look That's at the oh. Look at that. Wow, double shovel, big palms. You know what, folks? If you're looking for a really exciting hunt, give Wetchels a call. We're hunting Lake Wack Wack. Uh, we've been here, this is our fourth day hunting. Donald put us on to some big bulls. We came up with uh, five guys and. Uh, all five have tagged it. The George River is one of the major waterways in northern Quebec. But even its fast flowing waters don't seem to be able to stop these exceptional swimmers. When the beautiful fall colors are an added bonus for anyone observing caribou in the wild. The carpet of lichen comes alive with a kaleidoscope of colors. The regal tapestry is scattered here and there with restless caribou, always on the move. The true gypsies of the deer family. The Great Fall Migration is the best time to watch an endless parade of thousands upon thousands of these noble beasts. Heads held high, even in spite of the great weight of their impressively huge racks. It's a stunning display of nature at its finest, which can be witnessed every year in the fall and early winter. The hunting season coincides with this great migration across miles and miles of landscape that's truly magical. <laughs> 